Hey, what's up? I'm gonna hop right into it. I wanna talk about something I know everybody can relate to. Anybody got like a cousin or a homie or a friend or a neighbor or somebody you know who keep a nasty ass house? Yeah. You know that motherfucker's house just be nasty every time you go up in that motherfucker? Some of y'all probably with their ass tonight so you can't speak up like you want to. <laughs> man, I got a homie, man. My boy, man. He a, man, they how, first of all, he a dirty motherfucker. You know, you know, I remember them guys used to run around all week with that white t-shirt on and they get that yellow stuff under the arm. Well, he had that on his leather jacket. <laughs> dirty motherfucker. They, you, know, you know, run around. Don't take baths. You, you ever seen them wax be running all out their ear? Man, he had, man, his ear, I ain't, look, he had so much wax in his ear. If you had a Q-tip and you jugged it in his ear and pulled it out, you'll have a sugar daddy. <laughs> and it, man, just dirty. And they house, I don't even know where to begin talking, the house just nasty, stank. So it seemed like they was burning a chitlin' incense up in that motherfucker. It was a nasty, <laughs> That's a nasty ass. Dude, and they got, y'all ever go up their house, them people with them old nasty apartments, and they usually got one of them old bathrooms. You know, you go up in there and the tub still be on four legs. You know, you can sweep under that motherfucker. <laughs> and they got the old sink in there with the double faucet. You know, where the hot water come out this side, and the cold water come out this side. <laughs> Keep from burning your hand, you gotta switch your shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell a lady something. Ladies, I wanna put y'all up on something about men. Did y'all know every man in here could easily go three months without having sex? No, no let me tell you something y'all don't know. Every man got a woman on the side. I'm telling you, I'm, I don't care who he is, every man got a woman on the side, but don't get mad, cause I ain't talking about like another female. I'm talking about that person, you know fellas, the, the one you mess around with all the time? Huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna front, this is my main squeeze, you know what I'm saying? Whenever my woman be, oh, all right, you don't wanna give me none? Fuck you then, put your coat on, baby. <laughs> we going to the Holiday Inn in this month. <laughs> I like to, I like to ball her up and, dr and draw that little face on her. <laughs> and, and talk a little shit to her before I get with her. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> you want this dick, don't you? <laughs> He's so horny. <laughs> All right, girl, go to work. <laughs> Woo. Hey, let me hit that shit from the back. Now, I'm gonna wrap it up though, man. I wanna talk about something, man. Man, I went to this church, right? Man, it was this preacher. His name was Reverend Sleep Around. He was cold, though. Fella, if you'd have been in this church, you'd have been jumping up and down in the aisle. Cause he talked about something that hit home with a lot of brothers. So you know how he came out. You know how them Baptist preachers come out? He was like, Well, I wanna talk to y'all this morning <laughs> about a problem in my life. <laughs> It's a problem that dwells with a lot of men. <laughs> Backstabs you like a knife. <laughs> Goes deep into your pocketbooks. <laughs> Puts you in a financial bind. <laughs> it's a problem that ain't never going nowhere. <laughs> it's with you for a lifetime. <laughs> I'm not talking about drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Compared, that's a light drama. <laughs> See a man's biggest burden <laughs> is his baby's mama. <laughs> <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> hey, I'm Corey Over from Chicago.